Welcome to our HACCP principles training. Principle one conducts a hazard analysis. This is where the processes are evaluated and where we identify where hazards can be introduced. All hazards are assessed and categorized into four groups, biological, physical, chemical, and allergenic hazards. The general definition of a hazard related to food safety is conditions or contaminants that can cause illness or injury. Biological hazards can include microorganisms such as bacteria, viruses, yeasts, molds, and parasites. Physical hazards include objects that are hard or sharp, such as glass, metal, plastic, stones, or wood. Physical hazards can lead to injuries such as choking, cuts, or broken teeth. Chemical hazards vary in the aspect of production they are related to. Some potential chemical hazards are the improper use of pesticides, chemicals used on processing equipment such as sanitizers or maintenance chemicals. Finally, allergens are mainly associated with the raw materials in your production. Are they correctly segregated? In this step, you will need to make sure that you have the expertise to make an accurate evaluation of the hazards. The hazard identification is done in two steps. First, the identification of hazards, then an evaluation of the hazard. The hazard evaluation is a determination of the degree of risk to the user from the identified hazard. Once the hazard is identified and evaluated, the team must identify all the hazards, decide which hazards need to be either eliminated or reduced to acceptable levels, consider the risks, assess the likelihood of either the survival or the multiplication of any microbiological hazards, assess the possible production or persistence in the food of toxins, chemical or physical hazards, and decide what control measures can be applied for each hazard. A control point is a step in a process at which control can be applied, but where loss of control would not result in a risk to health. A critical control point is a step in the process where it is essential to prevent or eliminate a food safety hazard or reduce it to an acceptable level. Steps where there are significant hazards that are critical, if not controlled, they could make the final product unsafe and cause harm to the consumer. Steps that are not critical, that is, control points, are still important and require control. Critical steps need extra control through the HACCP system. No further step in the process will control the hazard. The team must identify critical control points. These are points where the hazard must be controlled or it will present a risk to the end user. We are happy to help with any queries you may have. Please like and subscribe to support our channel. With your help, we would like to continue to create videos that you can enjoy and use to help you understand the food industry. Follow us on our Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook to learn more about the food industry. Email us at foodforwardconsultancy at gmail.com if you would like to use our services. Thank you again and have a pleasant day.